This is lesson 92 in the basic JavaScript section of Free Code Camp. This lesson iterate odd numbers with a for loop. For loops don't have to iterate one at a time. By changing our final expression, we can count by even numbers. We'll start at i is a 0 and loop while i is less than 10, we'll increment i by 2 each loop with i plus equals 2. So they have our array, which is just an empty array, then they do a for loop that initializes i to 0, and as long as i is less than 10, it's going to increment i by 2 each time. So it would start at 0 and go up to 8, as we see here. It won't print 10 because 10 is not less than 10. So let's change our initialization so we can count by odd numbers. Push the odd number from 1 through 9 to my array using a for loop. You should be using a for loop. My array should equal 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9. So they did the even numbers here. So we're just going to do the odd numbers. So we'll go here, only change code below this line. We're also going to create a for loop. And we're going to do var initialize, initialize i to 1 this time. And we're going to say as long as i is less than 10, we want to increment i by 2. We could do i equals i plus 2 or the short way plus equals 2. And that means the same thing. We wanted to do this as long as that is true. We want to, instead of array dot push i, we want to do my array dot push i. And the logic behind this is we start with an empty array, but then we go into our for loop. i starts as 1. 1 is less than 10. Um, so first it will push 1 into our array. And since it's still true, it's going to increment i by 2. So now i is 3. 3 is less than 10. So then it will print 3. So now we have a 1 and a 3 print or 1 and a 3 in our empty array. Well, now it's a 1 and a 3 in there. So then we increment by 2. Now it's 5. 5 is less than 10. 5 gets pushed into our array. So now there's 1, 3, and 5, and it goes up until 9. And that would be how we iterate odd numbers with a for loop. And that's it for this lesson.